Morning, sunshine. Yeah, try try starting it with air in the system and it being cold. It fired up immediately, but it got air. So I've got this to put in. I'm going to get new tires right now, but when I come back, I'm going to put that in. This mine is uh, leaking. I don't know if it's around here, but it's, it's all wet right here. So I might even change the oil again just to make sure there's no fuel in it. Well, there she is. Brand new tires. I was going to get new wheels, but I decided not to. Because I wanted to get this tire. Uh, they gave me open cap, so I guess we're going to do four-wheel drive. <laughs> uh, the ones that are on the back, they're uh, um, too short, so that this bottoms out into it. And doesn't let the tire go on all the way. So... Uh, we're going with the open front, so I guess uh, that'll give me a uh, motivation to get axles. Probably won't get them now, but I have the money to do it. But I'm, I want to get the other mechanics of this thing dealt with. Um, so yeah, uh, so we're gonna need to add some air. Kind of gonna drive it around, let them settle. But uh, yeah, I like the I like the sidewall on these. Rock solid. It, it doesn't rub or anything like that. Everything clears. It's not too much bigger than the last set of tires. These are 31 inches. 31 inch, but they're actually 30. I think they're 30 and a half. This is the size I bought. BF Goodrich All Trains tires that come on the Raptors. I wanted a set. Of course, all the way around. So I got the center caps, new lug nuts. They're blocking. So I got a key. I really didn't want it, but that's all they had, and I wanted new lug nuts bad. So yeah, we got we got our open caps anyways, so we can do our four-wheel drive, and that's that's taken care of. But yeah, I'm gonna probably go to the junkyard maybe tomorrow or next week. And I'm gonna get um I'll do it next week, uh, or maybe Friday, yeah, Friday or something, I'll go to the junkyard, I'm going to get a Leaf from uh, another F-150, or a Chevy, I'll find one that's a little bit shorter than that third Leaf, and then I'm going to get an overload spring from like a Toyota, um, hopefully they're about the same size, I've seen one, they look, they look about two and a half inches, that's what I need, and then I got to look up the size bolt I used for that spring, and I'll go get one, and then um, once I have that, I can uh, make this uh, back end sit up a little bit higher. I want it to sit up about two more inches with the airbags deflated. So, yeah, and then I gotta get a, a puck. Let me show you what I mean. Uh. That spring puck or perch right there, I'm gonna get another one. Uh, the one on the driver's side I got there is thicker than this one, and that's to compensate for extra weight on the driver's side. But with these springs that I have on here, it doesn't really matter anymore. So I'm going to replace this one here with the, the same thickness perch as that side. So we're good there. I need my off-road lights now. I'm, I found a place that sells really cheap. Uh, looks like decent quality lights, but more affordable. It's like 200 bucks or something for a 20-inch uh, light bar. I think I'm going to put right here. And then uh, that'll look cool. And I might replace those fog lights with uh, round ones. Looks pretty cool though. I've got a 
new turbo on order. Should be here in a couple weeks. It's an H1C, but it's an upgraded one and it has a three inch exhaust outlet. So once I get that, I'm gonna pull all this off and then we're gonna go to an exhaust shop and have them make a whole new exhaust with a bolt-on catalytic converter. And then for a Ford 9 inch, we have a new ring and pinion kit coming. So we're gonna do that up. And then we're gonna get all the AC stuff and maybe a few interior things and then uh yeah so kind of trying to take it by baby steps now so but i got the tires that's that's what matters got a pretty good reaction out of the the uh the techs i uh, thought that was pretty cool the guy was like scared when he first started up he's like what the hell it's like oh it's a diesel yeah so i'm gonna do the lift pump here in a sec I'm gonna let the engine cool down for a little bit. I can smell diesel. It's funny, if you look right here, this is how you can tell my right height's higher on this side. Tire sticks out a little bit there. And then tires up in a little bit more. So, just get that puck in there, it'll bring it down a little bit. Sweet. Okay, as you guys know, now now. Get new tires, and you can also tell I went a little off road. I uh, went found found a uh, wasn't really an off road trail; it was just a gravel road. I uh, went down it, turned around, and uh, I actually did a a burnout. Not a burnout, but I peeled out. I got both wheels going. I didn't do any axle hop, surprisingly. And uh. Yeah, I think I got into second gear and I just floored it and it just it just started peeling out. But it kept it kept going straight and it uh, didn't really slow it down much. So it, it's got good traction now, I'll tell you that much. Like holy crap. So I'm gonna get a steering alignment done next week on it. Um Yeah. Get a steering alignment done. And uh Yeah, I like these I like these tires a lot and they fit perfectly good perfectly fine I didn't uh, hear any rubbing we got plenty of clearance all around here so yeah I was thinking it was gonna be like a massive tire but no it fits perfectly same here I don't see any rubbing on the radius arm and I've maxed the steering out so we're good there yeah that's nice I got it Got about 40 PSI and I'm actually got about 39. They're probably at 40 something now. They're a little, a little warm. I'm gonna be doing the front brakes on it again. I'm gonna get new calipers and uh, some new pads and rotors. I'm gonna need good front brakes because we're gonna be taking this. Uh, we're gonna do a road trip to California with this thing. We're going to see if we can make it. So. Yeah. Let's finish up the suspension. I get that wheel to drop down a little bit more. That would be good there. Um, yeah. So once I get it all, everything else done. The AC and re do a ring and pinion on the rear end. Get the exhaust and the turbo and everything installed. Uh, we'll do a little quick road test to Mount St. Helens, make sure it's good, and then uh, probably July or something, uh, we'll take it to, uh, take it down to Calexico. I wanna visit Mexico again. I probably won't drive it into Mexico, just for the sake of, it's my only vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, how about that, huh? Nice tires, those other ones are done. They were like, it's like freaking, you know, having a, it's like having a leather helmet, you know, like football back in the day. And then now you've got today where we've got these, all this fancy equipment, you know, it's like kind of like going to, from that to this. But yeah, uh, I like these tires. We'll, uh, we'll take her off road, see how she does. I don't think I'll get stuck in the yard again, but we'll get, we'll get four wheel drive. Um, probably 
what I'm gonna do is when we go to do the four volt drive, we'll uh, do our five speed. I'm gonna, I think I'll get, I'll get the four wheel drive ZF5 and then a uh, transfer case. And then I probably won't even have to change my drive shaft again. That'll be funny. And then what we'll do is I'll re-gear it to a uh, 350, which is what it is now. And then I'll make sure the front's a 350 as well. And then uh, we'll be good to go. Because I, I want to build, if I'm going to go four-wheel drive, I can't have the uh, highway gear that I'm going to put in this thing. So the four-wheel drive, really, I don't need it. But I think it would be cool just to have it, if anything. So right now, this is what she looks like. Four, two-wheel drive. Literally two wheel drive. That limited slit works great. Cheap. Bit noisy. It works. I'm glad to have center caps and new lug nuts. That's nice. I just can't. I can't get over the look of it. It's just crazy. I'm gonna have to stare at it for a few minutes. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm gonna edit up these videos and get ready. And uh, later tonight, we're gonna go celebrate my birthday. I'm turning 23. So. And then uh, probably tomorrow I'll go back, I'll go over to AutoZone, get that little, I gotta get a little part for my fuel pump. I, I cracked the inlet thing and it's got a tiny, tiny leak. <laughs> go figure. Um, but I'll fix that tomorrow. Um, I don't think it's leaking now, but yeah. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming in. We got a new turbo coming in, it'll be here in a couple weeks. Um, I've got a new speedometer coming in. That we're just gonna rewire. Um, my ring and pinion kit's coming in. I ordered a uh, master pinion kit to go with the differential. I'm hoping that it, the thing fits the yoke, or the yoke fits the input shaft. This is like the only, should work. Um, We'll, find, we'll find out. I'm just going to pull the thing off and if it fits on the new part then I'm throwing that shit back in there. So I said I was going to get new wheels but uh, I think what I'm going to do is we'll just take them off. We'll tape around the tire and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them up really good with a nice aggressive wheel and then uh, I'll, this inside here I want to paint black just like this, but this inside I want to go to like a, a gray or something or a silver, silver and black. So that's what I want to do. So the wheels are still good. They only had to put 17 weights on that one. Two on this side. Such a nice tire. I'm so happy. Yeah. They're somewhat consistent. Just one on this side. And uh, ride quality, rode great on the highway. Um, perfectly fine, no noise. <laughs> Baja champion. Yeah, we're gonna have fun when we go to uh, California. There's a, uh, on the way to Calexico, there's uh, this Salton Sea out there. There's a lot of dunes and stuff. I think I'm gonna, they got uh, off-road trails and stuff. Like basically you can drive around the desert. We're gonna go out there and do that. So, probably still be two wheel drive when we do that, but uh, it's just trail riding. I'm not doing anything crazy. Right now, I'm just getting this thing set up so we can go on a road trip. And we'll, I'll definitely have air conditioning. Well, battery's gonna die. Gotta go.